I'm 84. I do object when people look at you and think that you're old, and you, but you're not inside. I've still got a very active mind. I just wish people would realise that you still, you're still somebody else within, inside this horrible old body that's <laughs> gradually falling apart. <laughs> suddenly found myself in a situation where I'd lost my youngest son and my husband died within six weeks quite suddenly and I hadn't had my knees done then I couldn't walk and I couldn't see very well because I had cataracts uh, it was just so traumatic I just went to pieces I didn't know anybody up here I didn't know any of the systems up here and I, I just panicked I thought, well, don't know what to do what am I going to do? Um, I've always had David there, sort of 62 years we were together, so, you know, suddenly it, it, I was on my own. Pam is a, a recipient of a piece of technology. It consists of a number of very small, barely perceptible motion sensors. All these sensors gather data. What time does that person usually get up in the morning? Do they then normally go from the bedroom to the bathroom? Do they go straight to the kitchen? Do they put the kettle on? Do they open the fridge? So it's looking at somebody's lifestyle in the round. All of the sensors that we have around Pam's house send all the data through to the website that we use to access all the information. So anytime something happens that the system thinks is out of the norm, we will get an alert and then we put a pair of human eyes on it and decide if that's something that we need to investigate further. The things that we're really looking for that can be indicators of something a bit more serious going on are things like uh, more trips to the toilet than normal, um, spending an awful long time in the bathroom, um, you know, waking up for extended periods at night. The idea that we can put what amounts to some fairly simple tech with some very clever behind the scenes stuff into someone's home um, and know before they even realise that something is going on and we can get that help before it gets to a crisis point is the absolute crux of this. What's different about this project is not the technology, because we've been using the sensors for a long time, it's the data enabling us to properly evidence the amount of support somebody needs to right-size their package of care, so we've been able to reduce care down. It wasn't about cost savings, it was about right-sizing for the individual. We've also had other individuals who were absolutely destined for a residential care placement, and using this technology we were able to keep them in their own homes for longer. There can be an element of overprescription when you don't know what the person really needs. Um, so it's useful to know that you've got an extra level of assurance when people go and quite often families want that as well because if they live far away. The home-based care is about £19,000 a year and we know that residential care costs on average 38000 and we know that the census that we're talking about costs about £1,000 a year. So although um, sometimes you will be using technology alongside care and support, so the savings won't always be as great, you can see that there's an absolute opportunity there. For us, it's, it's much more than the technology, and I think we've always approached our, our service from, from that side. The, the, the real aim of the service is to enable someone to, to remain independent in their home. One of the key bits with Pam was around that, that ongoing support where we were able to link her in through, through weekly calls to um, gardening services, the, the social centres, the shopping trips, to, to build up communities. Being able to have just those, those tiniest little touches, those tiniest little interventions um, where we can just very gently refocus them in the right direction. It's those really small changes that actually make the real difference in people's lives. I, I can't praise Mole Valley enough, I really can't. I know that there is a system there that's monitoring me and I'm not on my own anymore. It is, it's a reassurance. They've encouraged me to go back to the community centre where I used to do art classes and um, Literally, they, they've pulled me out of, out of the hole that I was in. Everything has come together all of a sudden, and I've got a new life. <laughs>